What we're going to do here is a couple repairs. I'll go through them quickly for you. Looks like a spike or a ski rack was on this roof, okay, because there's paint damage next to both of these areas. You can see this area is knocked down pretty good here. And this area here has a little hat, kind of an actual crease across it. We're going to show you how with glue, how to pull these up. Now this is a sealed area. On today's cars, this is called a unisite. It goes all the way from the firewall back, the whole quarter panel, okay. There is no access into this, so it has to be done with glue. Any, any repair has to be done from the top. So we're going to show you how to crease pull. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to prep the area. I have a uh, vegetable oil sprayer by a company named Misto. Uh, you just pump it up and it sprays a nice even film. Wipe across the area to get any wax or grease off it. Dry it with the other side. Our area is now ready to pull. What I'm doing with this tap down, I'm in essence using it like a dolly. This den is knocked all the way through the edge and there's even some paint damage there. But I'm knocking that body line back into place by directing the hammer blow this direction and taking any kink out of that to help loosen that edge so when I glue pull it's, it's apt to lift. I'm going to take a blem crease tab. And I'm going to run a bead of glue from one end of the tab to the other as even as I can. I'm going to set that right down long ways right into that crease. I'm going to let that set up probably about between 15 and 30 seconds depending on the environment you're in. Okay, today here probably close to 30 seconds. Just let that glue tack up. All right, we're probably 20 seconds into that. I'm gonna set this, this is the universal Dent Gear Econo Lifter. It hooks the tab from either side. I'm gonna set it up across, adjust the height of my receiver to pull. I'm gonna give it a good snap here now. Okay, I'm gonna Take the glue off with the denatured or isopropyl alcohol, whichever you guys prefer to use. Now take a look what that did. That pulled all of the center of that crease up high. The ends still are on each end a little bit where the tab didn't quite go that far. I'm going to knock down what's high, the bump, and then you're going to take a look at it after that. There it is after one run, uh, tapping the center down, okay? You can see the tails on both ends, a little low down here and a little low at the end. I'm going to go after each end of uh, what's left of that crease with a round uh, 16 millimeter or dime size Kiko glue tab. I'm going to set both tabs at the same time. If you noticed also, um, it was kind of hard to see while I was doing some of the tapping there, when I was tapping down the high in the middle. I also blended each edge down a little bit and knocked the hard edges off to kind of soften the panel up so I can glue pull it better and also so it'll blend out better into the panel. Okay, I'll set the lower one first. It's just a little tiny depression right there. Okay, don't need much glue on that. Now this one, I, I got to be careful. Now when I set this second tab, I got one thing to watch out for. There is paint damage right on the end, so I'm going to stay right next to it and hopefully not... Uh, remove any of the touch-up paint that was already there. Okay, if I do, I'll just have to touch it back up because the damage, as you can see, the scratch is still there up here. Okay, the first tab has sat long enough. I'm gonna adjust my receiver. Nice snap, don't need to have much of a snap there. All right, we're gonna get the second one.
Take the alcohol, mist it on. Notice how nice and easy the glue releases. All right, now let's take a look. The bottom end, which was shallow to begin with, definitely pulled high. We can finish that, but the top one, I did not get enough of a pull because I was being conservative trying to stay away from that chip. This time I'm going to set the tab a little closer to the end, maybe even a bigger tab to try to get that center pulled up. So I'm going to knock the second, first part of this down, the first end, which will have this, which will have this part of the crease done. The following end is done. Okay, you see that tail blended in nice. I knocked down the high spot with the small tab. This one didn't pull because it's tighter. Got a body line right there and some paint damage. I am going to set a bigger tab and I'm going to put the glue pretty much into that touch up or cut. So I probably could pull a little bit more of that paint, but I want to try to get that metal kink out. We'll let that dry for probably 20 to 30 seconds. After I pulled up the high spot, okay, after I pulled the center with the crease tab and there was a little tail left, a little low down here, um, after I tapped the high down, I try to blend with my hammer that whole area in at the end. If there's a slight low in there, or even a slight high, I walk out, I walk out the panel, the metal, the virgin metal on either side to uh, give the illusion of flatness, okay, so it will look flat to the customer and it's 95% okay, but the human eye cannot see exact flatness on a rail. So uh, even if you get a rail 90 to 95%, the customer is very, very happy because they can't see it. Okay, our 30 seconds are up. I'm gonna give it a better snap this time. And that was a real loud snap. So I'm hoping that we got that center. Looks like I pulled just a real tiny amount of paint, touch-up paint that was already in there from the damage, which we can touch up again. But notice now, I got that whole kink out of there. Look at the high spot. And if I can blend with my hammer, we're gonna have this area done. It's got just a slight low. I'm right up against that edge, okay, where that chipped paint is. I don't want to pull any more there, so I'm just going to blend this out a little bit more and call it done. So what you're seeing left, the dent is flat itself. That little dark mark you're seeing is the chip. So uh, just put some touch-up color back in there. Somebody had put some in here before. Um, and then when we move to this dent, you'll see the touch-up in it too. So a little bit more cosmetically with some paint and she is good to go. She's flat. And as a final little TLC here, I'm going to polish up any of the uh, tap-down marks from my uh, nylon tap-down. <laughs> And 
there it is.